All right, I've done uh, many pilot bearing pulls on KAs over the years, and I feel like I've gotten pretty good at it. So I wanted to post a video to people for people who've never done it before, so that uh, they have kind of a starting point, have some prior knowledge before they go into doing it. Um, I'm using the regular five pound slide hammer and bearing puller attachment that you get at uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Um, it's supposed to have a little rubber retainer here, but it doesn't really matter. They just kind of fall out. It doesn't matter. Um, most sites or people will tell you that you have to sharpen these teeth in order for it to catch the bearing. Sometimes you do. I just pulled this one out uh, without sharpening it. As you can see, they're just flat. Um, but I actually tapped it back in with a hammer just so I can show how to do it or how I usually do it since I've done it a few times. Um, let me see if I can get my phone to stay somewhere. Alright, so you uh, thread your pilot bearing puller onto your slide hammer. Whether you use the one from AutoZone or O'Reilly or Advance, whatever, it doesn't matter. I think they all work. They're all pretty much the same. And then once you get it on there, you spin the front of it and that spreads these two legs in the front out that grab onto your bearing. So get it in there, it doesn't matter how far you put it in there. And then uh, you can spin your, you can spin the slide hammer or you can spin the front, the uh, pilot bearing puller, it doesn't matter. Eventually it's gonna start getting some resistance as those legs push out on the inside of the crank. And obviously mine's way too far in right now, but I'm just going to get some resistance, it's about all I can get with my hand. Then I'm going to hit gently on the slide hammer, not hard at all, just enough to get it to slip inside the crank. And it's going to slip and slip and slip until it catches that little lip on the bearing. And you can hear the difference when it catches the lip. It's moving, it's moving, every hit it's moving. I'm waiting for it to catch that lip. All right, there, it just stopped moving and it caught that lip. So now I'm gonna tighten up on it. And since I've already taken this bearing out, when I hammered it back in, I didn't put it in all the way, but it works the same. Like you get it, get some resistance on it, pull, tap back on your slide hammer a few times until you hear the sound change when the, uh, the legs of the uh, pilot bearing puller are actually catching the inside lip of the bearing, which is kind of hard to catch. So you might have to do it a few times, but I just did it on this motor you know, five minutes ago and it worked perfectly and I didn't have to sharpen the teeth or anything. So I've pulled back, I've got it to catch that lip where I can hear that it's solid and it's, it's grabbing something in there. And so uh, I have a crescent wrench. I'm gonna tighten down uh, with my right hand, which is on the back of the slide hammer and tighten, spread those, uh, those little legs out on the uh, pilot bearing puller make them grab harder now that I'm actually hooked onto the lip of the pilot bearing. I've got my phone sitting against my foot so I'm gonna try to do this without knocking it over. So I'm gonna tighten, tighten this up and now this took me a few tries earlier it's gonna look easy now but I promise it's the same steps. So you can hear the difference it's it's not slipping you can hear it grabbing and I'm just barely barely hitting the slide hand right now. But um, you, can, you hear the sound change, so I'll, I'll hit it hard, and you see the bearing's already moving because I've already pulled it out once. And now it's loose uh, on the pilot bearing puller right here. But uh, before, I would hit it hard, and the bearing puller would slip out without pulling the bearing. And then all I would do is uh, push my slide hammer back to the front here, and actually hit it forward like this to push the bearing puller back in to the... Uh, to the bearing. And then once it goes back in, tighten it a little bit. You don't want to break it because I have broken these little legs before. If you go crazy tight, the leg will just snap in half and you'll have to get another one. So uh, tighten down on that after you hit it back into the bearing and then hit it hard once and see if it'll, if it'll actually start pulling the bearing. If not, hit it forward again, tighten up on the front and something I found that works is when the bearing puller is in inside the bearing, 
you'll be able to feel like if you if you walk it left to right because uh, the the legs of mine are are uh, horizontal right now so as I spread it the legs go out left and right so if I wiggle this the back of my slide hammer left and right you can kind of feel those the the toes of those legs uh, walking inside the crank and you'll feel it when they both catch at the same time and it won't wiggle anymore that is where you want to hold it when you pull back hard and get the get the bearing to actually catch and start coming out so uh, that, that's what I did here I, I should have recorded beforehand but Oh well, I can't do it again now. But um, so pull this back. It will not come out that easy the first time, but it's the same process. Get the bearing puller in there. Oh, drop the phone. Get the bearing puller in there. And eventually, you'll get it out without having to sharpen the teeth or anything. Here's my KA about to go in my other hatch. So hopefully this video will help a couple people at least. If you have any questions, uh, post in the comments, whatever. I'm always down to help people with anything. Yeah, this is the standard pilot bearing puller and ever tough slide hammer.